One thing that's really important in mathematics is the ability to look at a pattern or find a pattern and then use that pattern to make a prediction. So here, this is a, a typical algebra problem, and we're kind of building our skills up so that we can do that. So we can look at this, say, what's the pattern, and what, it, what can we predict based on that pattern? So let's just look at the timeline here and just observe some simple patterns about the days. As we go down, what happens to our days? Well, they go up because time is increasing, right? The amount of time that's passing is increasing as we go down. And then here, when we look at the profit, Right? What is profit? Well, that's, that's how much money you make after your expenses. So if you're selling something, you have to buy materials to make that something or get that something, and then you sell it for more than that, so you have a profit. But anyway, if we look down at the profit, we notice what's happening. Well, I notice one thing, that every time a day passes, my profit's going up. And then, if I look a little bit closer, I notice, oh wow, every time a day passes, my profit's going up by 20 so that's actually all we really need here to figure out what's happening and to make a prediction. So they tell us that the above table depicts or shows the profit in dollars. Okay, so this is this is dollars over here. Taken in by a store each day. So this is how much profit the store is taking in. So what do they want us to do? In part A, write a mathematical equation that describes the relationship between the variables in the table. Okay, well, what does that mean? Well, there are two variables here. There's the days that are passing. Oops, I wrote das. Days that are passing and the amount of profit we have. So days and profit. And what I see is that as the days increase, our profits go up. So our, prop, our profits are dependent on our days. Right, this is our time variable. Time is typically in independent, independent, uh, which basically means that the more time that passes, the more profit we can make, and we're not going to make more profit than uh, unless more days are passing here. There's a connection there. So when I'm writing my equation, I want to say, okay, the amount of profit of making p is equal to the amount of days that are passing. But but how do we know? Well, for the first day. There's twenty dollars, and for the second day there's forty, and the third day there's sixty. So one way to think about the profit here is to say, oh, on the first day one, we made twenty dollars, so one times twenty, and then the second day there was two days of twenty dollars or forty dollars. On the third day there was three times twenty or sixty dollars, and then four times twenty or eighty dollars, and five times twenty for a hundred dollars. Uh, of profit there. So in other words, if we look at the way this is broken down, the number of days times twenty dollars will tell us the amount of profit we have on any given day. So how do we write this out? Well the profit is um, the number of days d times twenty, or typically we write that as twenty d, twenty times the amount of days that have passed. Now the question is, how can we use this to our advantage? And does this always make sense? Well, here in part B, it says, what is the profit on day 10? Well, that's why this formula is so awesome, right? Because if we know the day, we can plug that day into this spot right here, multiply it by 20, and that tells us our profit. So here, we're almost going to spit in the variable D equals, day, D equals 10, excuse me, so day 10. We throw it into this equation, and what's going to be spit out? Well, 20 times 10, right, 20 times D, when D is 10, is 200. So if we, if we plug 10 into this formula, that tells us our profit's going to be 200. So the answer here is 200. And then what about, it says, if the profit on a certain day is $200, what is the profit on the next day? Well, here I feel like the, the easiest way to look at this is to pay attention to that increase, right? Every day that passes, the next day has $20 more. So here, if we know one day has $200 of profit, the next day has to have $220 of profit. All right, hope that